The Singapore Botanic Gardens has a rich history of over 150 years, and yet the many visitors to the gardens in general know little of this history. So I'm delighted that CDL has been able to help us in launching our museum in Holton Hall and the CDL Green Gallery. These are going to tell the rich history of the gardens and introduce people to the history of Singapore. Today, we are looking to the future and managing the gardens and its buildings in the most sustainable way. For close to two decades now, CDL has been championing sustainable development as well as uh, best practices for the built environment. When the opportunity to build this green gallery arose, we knew straight away that it would be a synergistic partnership. It has allowed us to combine our green building expertise and network, as well as our passion points in community outreach, environmental conservation, as well as promoting the arts. Having the CDL Green Gallery in the Botanic Gardens is for me an absolutely sensible thing to do. It's a modern building, but one which uses energy very efficiently. The CDL Green Gallery was designed to be sustainable right from the start. We work with 10 like-minded partners who are all leaders in their respective fields to conceptualise, design and construct the CDL Green Gallery. The CDL Green Gallery is poised to be a new green icon. For the first time in Singapore, two groundbreaking innovations have been introduced and they are both found in this gallery. The first is the use of a prefabricated modular system the CDL Green Gallery is the first building in Singapore to be built with the prefabricated modular construction system. Six individual modular units are manufactured at an external quality control setting. Upon completion, the six units are transported to Singapore Botanic Garden and hoisted into position. Using this modular system, the on-site and off-site construction time is greatly reduced. In fact, the actual time taken on site to piece together the building modules was less than 24 hours. The prefabricated modular system is easy to build, easy to dismantle, and is expandable when required. Using this system, we achieve our objective of building a fully modular gallery with minimal environmental impact on the large surroundings. The second is hempcrete, which is a type of eco-friendly biomaterial. Hempcrete, which is used as cladding on the building, is a mixture of plant-based hemp core, lime binders, and water and it provides insulation for this building. This cladding, which is durable, goes towards making the gallery, which is air-conditioned, thermally very efficient. Other eco aspects of the building are the green walls that we have, which are dotted with the plants that attract butterflies. And on top of that, we have uh, solar panels on the roof of this building. And these produce enough energy to give an annual yield that is more than sufficient for the running of this gallery. These eco-attributes, together with the passive, low-energy architectural designs, go towards making this building the first zero-energy green gallery in Singapore. The CDL Green Gallery gives us the opportunity to have a series of changing exhibits. They will change every six to nine months and include exhibitions of botanical art, botanical photography, as well as the ability to show off local artists' work in this wonderful new gallery. We are proud to present the CDL Green Gallery as our gift to the nation and we hope that the gallery will help further promote the interest and appreciation of eco-related art in the community. The Singapore Botanic Gardens is a candidate of the UNESCO World Heritage Site because a UNESCO World Heritage Site is not just a thing preserved in aspic, it's a working place that continues the traditions that have existed since the beginning of the garden's history in 1859. So the Green Gallery will help us to engage in a more meaningful way than we have been able to do previously. We're very grateful for the support we've received and we hope everybody enjoys what they see. It is indeed an innovative and sustainable development, not just for the community to enjoy, but it would add another legacy worthy of the Botanic Gardens as well as Singapore. I'm also glad that many companies are supporting the environment as part of your corporate social responsibility. Like CDL, Green Gallery, commitment to eco-friendly developments and practices.
I really like the solar panel which generates enough electricity to run the CDL Green Gallery and it's very eco-friendly and sustainable. I'm looking forward to bring my family to visit and I'm very sure that the public will also enjoy it very much.